How's it going guys and welcome back for Factions How to Survive and Thrive series Factions Edition In today's video We are going to take a closer look at a base designing, base building and stuff like that So welcome to this video, hopefully you can find this entertaining and learn something on the same time If you remember from last video we did claim this right here So if you do F map you can see we have a full claim right here which is a beautiful Beautiful. As you can see, people are already trying to put weight claims, which is just concerning. But it doesn't matter, guys. We're solo. We got this. So, I have been uh, trying to get rid of this right here. And uh, I think it's going pretty well. So, what we need to do today... Oops, that was the wrong one. What we need to do today is at least try to start on the base. Now, since we're going solo, I'm not going to probably make the biggest base you've probably seen. We're going to try to make something a little bit smaller, a little bit more, you know, compact. That way, we don't have to grind as hard to get a base up. But hopefully we're gonna get the majority of the base up today And then maybe next video we'll be able to talk a little bit more about different defenses And what you can do as a solo player to keep yourself alive Well, there's nothing you can really do But it, 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 you can at least slow them down or do something But there we go guys, we got rid of that So today's video we're gonna talk a lot more about uh, this right here We have a base shell, we have base trays What we're gonna th uh, do though is that if we took, take the base, base shell right here We got this line up. This right here is pretty much the base where we can use uh, horizontal gen buggers to easily make that. But what a thing we should do though is line it up and uh, well just try to build this in. We do need to actually mine a lot of the base or a lot of this down there at 4x4 so we kind of don't have any blocks under our base. But we can do that at another time. We really want to get this base up going so we can start moving our stuff. We want to get our creepers in here and stuff like that. Um, but of course at the end of the grace period we take everything down uh, but let's go ahead and that was the wrong one move it here now we need to rotate it and uh, figure out where that is uh, that looks actually uh, pretty damn right that looks pretty damn right let's go ahead and move it up so what i'm thinking is that we need to move this oh god all right so 180 no, 150. That works. We can just move it up manually now. So what I'm thinking we're gonna do is that we put up, gonna put this gem up so it matches 255, of course, and that way we can uh, make at least the obby shell now today. I'm thinking, and then the, the, this right here, I'm gonna explain everything what this is. Of course, the schematic is gonna be down in the description as well. Uh, but let me go ahead and make a sand pillar that goes from down there and all the way up. And the reason we're using sand is that it's easier to get rid of. You just put a slap under the sand. And you're good to go. Alright, so now that we got this sand all the way up, is that 255? It is exactly. So let's go ahead and move that one down. So we're exactly what is supposed to be. This right here is going to be the roof. And uh, what's left to do is actually, weirdly enough, just gen bucket this in. Because this design or this schematic is made, so you just gen it in. So you don't need to place a lot of blocks. You don't really need to do much, to be honest. So it's perfect. It's absolutely perfect. So so the first thing we're gonna do is that we need to make the obby shell because we need to move these spawners ASAP because you want to start making a lot of TNT. It is the grace period and as soon as the grace period hit as a solo faction, you probably don't want to have spawners up. I can tell you that much. That would be a very bad idea because you will get split in day one for sure. So what we want to do is get the obby shell up, start making uh, TNT, start making money and then just take the spawners down at the end of the grace period. That's pretty much how, how you do it as a solo faction. But let me go ahead and quickly um, start printing all of this or be in this line down here, this line down there. Let me go ahead and quickly do that and I will be right back. Alright, so we got the bottom one right here and we got the top and that is pretty much all we need for now Because now we can start jetting in at least the shell at the top. What am I doing right here? What's going on? Oh, there we go Okay, so what we need to do now is we need to go to the top and we need to start jetting down Now the schematic is made in a way so as you can see right here It's gonna be stopped by the block down there, which is awesome So let's go ahead and do slash gen. Let's go ahead and get the vertical obsidian right here Is that the one I need to use? Yeah, that's the one. Alright, so let's go ahead and gen bug it all the way around here Now you should have enough money to 
make it obsidian all the way around. If not, get enough money because you do not, and I can't say this not, you do not want this not to be obsidian. I can tell you that much because if a creeper eggs gets get, like gets blown up inside your base or something like that, you're pretty much ripped if you don't have this. So make damn sure you got this. All right, so let me see that right there. Oh, I should do it. So that is uh, flowing down exactly what it's supposed to be. I do suggest you make this all the way around because if somebody's on a 1.7, uh, what to call version, they don't see this 1.8 world portal, which means you can glitch into your base if you're not careful enough. So I should just does doing this. What's going on? Am I actually stuck now? <laughs> ah, that's not, that's not good, boys. Uh, um... Okay, not really sure how, how that happened. I mean, all right, GG, I guess. <laughs> all right, let me see. All right, okay, that's still going down. Okay, so, oh, here we are again. Uh, we can get this one down. I'm just too lazy right now, so let's just go ahead and do it like that. Hey, is this all the way around? Yeah, it is. All right, so let me go ahead and do this. Oops, I don't want to die here. All right, there we go. So eat. I got two lots left. Holy shit. All right, so let's go ahead and finish this all the way around. There we go. Now, what we could do now is start on the roof um, with another bucket and then you just do it on this line right there you know it goes to uh, two chunks so that goes all the way over to this one and then you do it over here and all the way and that's how you do it the most well I i'm pretty sure that's the easiest way you could possibly do it that's at least how we did it in my faction when it will be played and let me go ahead and just quickly do that oops and it shouldn't really take long let me go ahead and make this roof as you can see it we know it goes exactly two chunks we don't need it to you know like go two times this way and wait for this one here to finish because this one is going to go to the end then we're gonna remove the lag there we go and we know this one if we place it right here is gonna go all the way to the end which is awesome so let me go ahead and quickly gen this in and i'll be right back all right so now that we gen in the roof right here which is perfect as you can see in the skim we still have this right here and that says oh god what did i just do hide uh no 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 not hide but don't printer. So what we need to do is that we need to make a ton of rift layers. All of these right here is most likely going to be in a reverse layers. We, we should probably get a few that is extended which, need, which means we need to mine some of this obsidian right here. Uh, but that shouldn't really be a problem later on. We don't need to do it now at all. Uh, but this is pretty much how the rift layers is going to be. We're going to have the spawners up here. And I forgot one up there. Gosh dang it. But that is, this is not something that you should worry about right now. This one right here is nothing you should worry about. It is just like to, to mark out where we're going to have different things. Uh, but once again, it doesn't really matter right now. We, we just want to get our spawners up. We can do the ref layers and stuff like that later on if you wanted to. If you have get an, if you have enough time in this video, I'll do it. Uh, horizontal. Let me go ahead and place it right there. That should go that way. That should go that way. All right. And horizontal obby. There we go. Uh, so, now that we've done that, we got our base, uh, kind of our base shell, I guess I can say, up. We also need to do the bottom layer, which we are going to do here in a second. Let me go ahead and put that in. There we go. No, all right, well, place in. No, 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 no. You got that all wrong, mate. You got that all wrong. Let me go ahead and try. Oh, God. No, stop. No, no. Oh, God. What a disaster, boys. It continues. Stop. Thank you. What the excellent... All right, well, that, that was weird. All right, so, as I was saying, we are gonna do this reverse layers later on. So let me go ahead and quickly... Is that the right one? Yeah, it is. Let me go ahead and quickly just mark these off so we know where they're located so we don't accidentally do something right here on these. And uh, there we go. Perfect. And that should gen in. Perfect. That should work. All right, so we should do the bottom layer, but if you do this obby layer first... Let me show you right here. So if you do this obby layer first, it's gonna be really hard to do the other ones that's further down. And and it's just really not comfy. So what I think we should do is do the bottom one all the way down here. That's the one I think we should do, all right? And I can see that my schematic fucked up, which means I made obby all the way down. That's not what I'm supposed to do. I forgot about that line that I made right here. Should have been all the way to the border as well. That's my bad, guys. That's my bad. Because remember to do that when you do this, or else you're going to have obby all the way down that I now have to move. Oh, but that's all right, guys. We can we can definitely do that. We should start this one here, though. And we're going to place one block, though. There you go. All right, so what I think I need to do now is, first of all, I need to mine underneath the base. And I only need to mine right here, you know, where this one is, and all the way out. So to all of these right here, we should mine right here. There you go, all the way down to bedrock, of course. And we're just going to go ahead and do the corners right now, and then we can kind of see where we want this to be mined. But it's very important that you mine underneath the 
your base. If you do not mine underneath your base, it's going to be very easy to for like reverse hybrids and stuff like that to to get to get a get a hold of you. So you don't want to do that. You don't want to do that. And even though they could make their own backboard, hopefully this right here is going to make it a little bit harder. But there is a lot of experienced cannons on vanity, so I would just watch out. I would just really just watch out in general. All right, so we got that marked up. Let's go ahead and first of all, we need to quickly just mine all this out. And I got a uh, blast pickaxe, which means I can upgrade to insta break obsidian. So hopefully we'll be able to do that and then get rid of this backboard right there. So let me go ahead and do that real quick and I'll be right back. All right, guys, I am now done both trenching and mining the obsidian that I accidentally did. Not the best idea I got, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. But let's go ahead and make one single slab right here and throw it in underneath it and just simply do that. That is how you get rid of that line, the first thing we did, instead of having cobble, we would have to mine it all the way down and who, who, who has time for that? I nobody got time for that. But that is pretty much it. Now let me go ahead and give you guys a quick tour on what exactly is going on and why we're doing it the way we're doing it. Alright, so the reason we're doing what we're doing right now, as you can see there's like a space in between here, that is actually reverse layers and the reason we're doing it like this is that we know that at the end bucket goes to chunks, so it's just easier to just do it right here. It goes over to right here and then we take another one doing the rest way. Now this right here is not really necessary because we only have a 2x2 but if you're running with a 12x12 or something, this right here helps a lot. Now we do have the shell done right now which is awesome but we also need to do the reverse layers down here because imagine if we are making first one right there and then we start with the bottom one going up it's going to be very hard to, to like kind of water in between so what's important now is that one we make the reverse light this way right here to save time we make ton of them down here because well we don't really we're not really going to trench much and the reason we are trenching all the way down there is just to make it harder it's not going to stop someone that knows how to cannon but it might actually stop someone that might not know exactly how to use a reverse hybrid and stuff like that but that was a lot of talking let's go ahead and get this done right here. Let me go ahead and finish off these outer one right here. And then let's go ahead and see what we can do next. Alright guys, we now finished off the extended ref layers and do not worry guys, I'm gonna tell you exactly why we are doing all of these reverse layers and why we are doing these up there. What does it help? Does it make it harder for people to rate you? All of that questions is gonna be answered very, very soon. So do not worry guys, let me go ahead and actually finish off all of these reverse layers and water in between. I will cut and tell you how we water this the best way and stuff like that. But for now, let me go ahead and do a little bit of work, get ready to talk a little bit more about these reverse layers. Players, give me two seconds. Alright guys, I am actually now done and ready to water. I just quickly want to say that this way right here is most likely the best method to water your reverse layers. Now you could do one layer and then just drop water in the middle all the way across. That would take less water. But this way at least I'm, I'm sure that this is probably the best way. I don't like the other way. You guys can go ahead and do that if you wanted to. But this is pretty simple. Place one right there and it should go all the way. We can even skip one block every time you water this. So it's pretty, it's pretty, it's pretty good. I, I, I'm gonna be honest. I, I like to finish off all my reverse layers before I do this but this right here should water it completely and of course just get rid of these misplaces but other than that we're, we're pretty good guys let me go ahead and make sure all of this is watered and I will be right back all right so one thing I want to say before I go ahead and just quickly end off this uh, clip of how we do the reverse layers we forgot about this this right here oh, I, I forgot about it. I'm sorry guys right but we forgot about this right here that one there there you go that's where the sand were it's a pretty good idea to keep that pretty damn stable so there we go all right next stop so we want to kind of water each of these right here so we want to do something like that we want to water it place a block water it place a block that way you are damn sure oh my god what did i just do what did I just do? Did I place a slab or some shit? Yeah, I did. That's my bad. 
<laughs> Alright, so two seconds, guys. Two seconds. Let me, let me finish this off. Alright, so as I was saying, we want to make a, an orbit there. We want to then go ahead and water this. Place a block. Water, place a block. So that way we know that the corner, at least, is fully watered. I, I've done some mistakes and I actually got split because of I got just this little thing. So, therefore, it's pretty damn important that we do that, guys. It is pretty damn important. Not really sure why these goes out right there. Uh, let me go ahead and get rid of that. There we go. But that finishes off our reverse layers. It finishes off our main base as well, which is pretty damn dope. And as you can see over here, we actually have the water and the last reverse layer right here. So that's perfect, guys. That is absolutely perfect. Now, coming into why I'm doing this. This reverse light right here is extended, and that means you can't ref left yet. Now, the reason for that is the ref left is pretty much going from bedrock, and then it's going to kind of, you know, go up in the walls. Let's say we have walls all the way out here. If we had a wall going right here and all the way up without the reverse layers, then a reverse left could just, uh, what's it called, scatter or nuke all the way up in the wall and go right next to a base, and then just ref lefty right into a base. Now, when we have these right here, we can't, they can't do that. They actually need to ref lefty all the way out from here which gives us somewhat a good protection including slabs and stuff like that so that's always a good help the reverse layers is also helping against reverse hybrids now a lot of people do have a one-shot reverse hybrid nuke efficient whatever but some people don't that's why we're making them so maybe like it's gonna stop someone i mean you can't really stop someone that's really experienced in cannoning you can't stop them just for an example take my reverse hybrid one shot i mean it's pretty good but it doesn't nuke it all the way down which means it takes time so if you come across someone that has my cannon this right here should help out a lot because i didn't release one that had nuke on it so in general that is pretty much just helping and nuking and, and like stuff like that now up here we have uh, if we go inside actually we have another ref layer let me gonna show you two seconds here we go so this right here is a reverse list inside the base now this here helps a lot because if we don't have these you can just use, if you look at the white, you can use a 180 stacker to get into our base and just like get into everything. But if you have these reverse layers, they are forced to go above them or cannon above them, which means they're gonna need like another 30 sand or something. So now they are forced to use a 203 stacker if you wanna get in. Now it might not mean a lot, but if we have 120 walls, that is going to equal up to a lot of TNT and a lot of sand if they have to just raise it 30 blocks. And that's why we're doing this. And if they get into the top, it's not quite sure that they're gonna get down here because we have these so just in general just a nice little defense and it's really gonna help out a lot and when that is said guys let me go ahead and finish off the last reversal is right here and with the help of these it's going to be very very easy we make sure uh, and that way we also make sure that we don't get any invisible blocks when we're printing in full platforms and stuff like that so it just really helps out a lot i will be right back when i finish off these reversal is right here give me two seconds Guys, we're now done watering all the reverse layers besides one because one of these it doesn't really matter which one but we're gonna take this one right here and have that extent now what that does is that it's kind of watering the wall of our base that way if they go come into the room underneath these they can't just like quickly go ahead and reverse scatter and get up to this room without having to hybrid this now we only need one of these because let's be honest if they're already going to reverse hybrid some of these layers or just one of these layers one or two or three or four or five won't stop them so it's better just to have one instead of having seven when they're already planning on actually using a reverse hybrid on you so one is enough stop wasting time one is enough and just go ahead and quickly do this and then we're pretty much done we're pretty much done with the reverse layers and we are almost ready to start on something else which is very very exciting guys it's very very exciting but the reverse layers are now d-o-n-e after this there we go guys all the way around extended beautiful and uh, did i miss watering this oh i did yeah so we want to make sure that we water all of these corners right here because as you can see kind of fucked up a little bit not really sure why and the last one over here there we go and accidentally broke one there we go all right perfect so what i'm gonna do now is i'm gonna finally close this off and then we move over to something else 
Right, next up is spawner placement. Now, this right here is a subject that many have different opinions on. I'm just gonna go ahead and give you guys my opinion on how we do the best. Now, this right here is a quick skim of exactly what we're gonna do. So, we're kind of going three and then kind of one to the side. That way, if somebody, let's go ahead and say the cannon right here and they shoot, and what they can get only, let, let, let's just do it right here instead. What they can get if they shoot right here is this spawner. They bypass that one and all the way surrounding it and have to shoot all the way over here to get the next spawner. Now, since I don't think they have, uh, what's it called, uh, trouble crew breaks and stuff like this on demonic this map, this is going to benefit us a lot because they won't be able to get a ton of spawners, but more like the ones they hit with their cannon. Now, I do assume that if they shoot right here, get water down, they will be able to get the surroundings. But since there is so great a distance and so split up, I hopefully think that's going to help a lot. At least that's what is done in the future or in the past. So we, we pretty we're pretty good here guys so what we're gonna do is that we're actually gonna place couple now on the recording this is probably very dark in here for you guys so i'm gonna go ahead and leave a schematic of this of course so you guys can use this uh, but i don't think we're gonna do a whole lot of pillars i think we're just gonna go ahead and fill out this entire area with these right here because i'm thinking not of your solo faction i think we can actually split up the base and do it e or make it even harder for raiders to get our stuff but that is something that we're gonna talk about here in a second most likely but give me two seconds to go ahead and place couple in all of these places and i will be right back Right, guys i now laid all of this out and look how spread it is i'm sure that this right here is going to make it an absolute struggle for any waiters to get our spawners so what's left to do actually is just make a few like grinders right here i'm gonna try to think about how we're gonna do it because we kind of want to do it smart guys you kind of want to do it smart and i think the smartest way to do it is to make a let's say an iron golden spawner grinder thing magic right there then over in the other corner or separate corner maybe all the way over here we can have our creeper grinder that way they would have to shoot two different spots to get our spawners i think that is probably the best way to do it i'm not really sure what happened right here can we, can we use this one there there we go all right perfect and i'm missing a water spot right there can i make that before that gen bucket makes it pretty sure i can there we go perfect so what's left to do is actually move all our stuff into uh, this place right here we have creepers we have uh, igs i'm pretty sure underneath we're gonna do a blaze grinder but for now i think we should go ahead and design a iron golem grinder and iron golems is also one of the cheapest grinders you can possibly make because we're gonna move them with water and then they're gonna go into some lava and that's pretty much it. Now, what we could do is actually move the storage room five layers underneath and just have hoppers going through the storage system. But since I'm pretty sure that we don't really care about hoppers, we don't care about the loot, we care most about spawners, I think we're gonna keep it as it is right now because we could use the hoppers to reverse up. So let me go ahead and figure out which I'm pretty sure we're gonna make iron golems in this one right here or maybe we should do it over here the iron golems is what's going to be worth the most so we want to make it in this corner right here as close to the world border as possible giving them a limited amount of space they can shoot at with that cannon now not of course now of course if they adjust it then they will have plenty of space but some factions or some players don't know how to do that so let's just go ahead and not make it easy for them i'm pretty sure that iron golems don't take fall damage on here so we are forced to use lava and i mean that is not a problem what so ever now since we are solo man factions i kind of want to show you guys a kind of good idea you could do within your base now let's go ahead and say this right here is one chunk this right here is a four by four which means we have four chunks that way and four chunks that way now if we find the middle of this bad boy right here which is two chunks in that will be right about and what, what do i get it no no and uh, this way right there here we go so this right here is the middle of everything all right so if we split this up so let's go ahead and say that let, let me go ahead and show you guys with cardboard because it's probably easier to see on your screen so this right here is the exact middle what if we actually went ahead and did something like 
this split it totally up so we're gonna do, go ahead and do that and then we're gonna split our entire base in four individual places now we can't do it like this because if you split it up like this you can just shoot and then get in both places uh, i'm gonna show you exactly what i mean here in a second but what we if we do something like this here we go and do something like that now if you have no idea what i'm talking about right now i'm talking about splitting the base into four different uh, bases like i guess you could say and have water in between them that way what did i just do right here all right so if i stand right that, that's right there there we go all right so if i let's go ahead and say make four individual bases we have some four cubes right here i'm pretty sure that's good i'm pretty sure that's good so i think that's what i'm gonna do since we are solo faction guys i think that is what i am going to do because we need to go through the buffer one more time so let's have a spawners in here have spawners in here that results in that we they would have to like go through two times to get into my spawners i mean that, that's pretty good that's actually pretty damn good all right guys so let let me try to explain this how what i'm gonna do so let's say that you're shooting right here this right here is a normal wall that we have on the outside of our base of course when this one explodes it can make a hole it can either be this wide right here or it can be this wide right here now if it's going to go two out to each side it's important that our first base going to be all the way out here so we actually actually need to go ahead and do this one more time so there's going to be quite a like a distance between our base as you can see right here we don't want them to be able to adjust we don't want them to be able to just simply change the barrel and get in all places so we're going to need something that looks this looks uneven oh no mind it's not uneven i just made an extra block over here something like that i'm pretty sure yeah so this is not a normal thing you would possibly do like it's only because i'm a solo faction that i think i'll be able to pull this off and still not made it too annoying for myself to go through all of these different things so let me go ahead and quickly see this is how we gonna do it it looks pretty damn dope uh i think that it will work out guys i think we're gonna work out because if they shoot right here they won't be able to get into anything they, they will be able to shoot in the middle yet they won't, won't be able to adjust the barrel so they have to shoot at least two times to get all our spawners which is uh i mean it's it's always nice isn't it but let me go ahead and split up the entire base into two two different things and uh let's just uh go from there all right guys so this is what i was talking about right now we split our base up in two or four different bases and only in the grinder area so we're gonna have creepers over here we're gonna have uh, what's it called endermans over here ids over there or pigments over there and this just makes it very very hard for anyone to try to get into the entire base by just going to breach just once so let me go ahead and explain you how it works so i got a few reversals right here that i mined out and then i just split the base up in two and that's pretty much how i did all this now instead of having one entirely big base so let's go ahead and say you're shooting maybe right here the gonna get into this base right here they're gonna get into this base right here but you won't be able to get into these two even if they adjust they will have to they will have to adjust one two three four five blocks to be able to get into this one as well and since when you shoot at a wall it's not gonna make a hole that's all the way out there there's no way that you're gonna be able to do that so that is why and how this works hopefully it's gonna work out as soon as that tt enables but let's just go ahead and check that out but i think this right here is pretty nice especially if we are like a solo faction and especially something you should do if you are alone with two or three people but of course i'm not gonna go take a skim of this i'm gonna go ahead and leave a fully base normal base one box everything in a schematic down below i'm not gonna go ahead and, and, and mess you around with this one here but i just quickly want to say this is a pretty good idea I just kind of want to show it off to you guys it's something that you could possibly do next up is figuring out which grinder we're gonna have in which room so now i think i'm gonna go ahead and put up an ig in that area right there and creepers over there which means there's no way they're gonna get close to each other so let me go ahead and uh, mine down right here now we're gonna make homes in all of these right here so there's no possible way that they will be able to you know I, I, like accidentally mine out and forget to block it off or whatever so let's go ahead and do this right here guys so i'm thinking we're just gonna fill out the entire area we do need a chest area so i got trap chest let me get some normal chests there we go and i think we're just gonna go ahead and hmm, how big of a storage should we do uh, i don't really need a big storage so i can do something like this that right there yeah that looks pretty good let me go ahead and build oh wait, 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 i fucked up that's not how we want to do it we want to do it a little bit so we're gonna do it something like that there we go yeah so let me go ahead and quickly uh, make all of these the right chest there we go so about that and just go and extend it all the way over to the other end and 
then I will be right back. There we go, guys. We now placed all the chests, which is a beautiful. What we can do now is uh, just go ahead and put some hoppers in it and stuff like that. And let me go ahead and quickly get us ready to the next stage. All right, there we go, guys. Now we are pretty much ready for the next stage. What we want to do is that we want to go ahead and quickly block this off. Now, I'm going to go ahead and use Obby because Obby can get creeper egg. And I'm pretty sure that's the best solution. We're going to go ahead and make this right here. Let's go to make it right. I'm, I'm pretty sure we can do it right there. Is that, is that enough? Let me go and put it right there. Put that one right there. Yeah, I mean, that will work. That will work pretty well. Let me go ahead and... Is that enough? Is that how you do it? Yeah, that's how you do it. All right, great. So this right here should give us enough space. Oops, what's going on right now? Oh, there we go. Perfect. All right, so we're going to go ahead and do signs because we're going to need to hold up the lava. And I'm going to go ahead and take a few of these. There we go. And there we go. And uh, that one should be good. There we go. All right, so when you have to write it, we don't want to do that. So just put a scam. Doesn't matter what it is. Print the on and then just hide it. And then you can just go ahead and do it like this. Pretty nice, neat trick. But let me go ahead and finish off the signs and the lever and I will be right back. All right, guys, there we go. We now have the lever in place and what we can do now is pretty much just use whatever block we want. Now, I think I'm going to go ahead and use packed ice for this particular thing right here. But what we want to do is that we just want to go ahead and do something like that. Now, actually, now that I think about it, let's go ahead and put a little bit more space into it. We can do that because... Let me go ahead and show you what I mean here in a second. So we can have the, uh, what's it called, the blocks right there. That is totally fine as well. So let me go ahead and quickly do that. And we should be able to match it up perfectly with everything. And let me go ahead and quickly make a platform of ice right here. And I will be right back. All right, guys, there we go. We finished off this beautiful thing. Let's go ahead and uh, actually we're going to need some pressure plates to stop the water, first of all. And that can be found in here, I think. Do we have pressure plates? We do. Beautiful. All right, so I'm pretty sure it's eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then place it right there, I think. Isn't that, isn't that how it goes? Oh, it is. All right, perfect. So, oh, 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 oh. That's not what we were looking for. Uh, we were looking for pressure plates. There we go. Perfect. All right. So since an iron golem is two blocks wide, we can just use this right here. Pretty damn simple. Nothing like crazy about that. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And uh, it, was it number eight? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. No, no, no. It can go bro. eight. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, okay. All right. My bad, guys. There we go. Perfect. And do we have enough? I think we have enough to go all the way out. There we go. All right. So let me go ahead and quickly place this water. And we should be pretty good to go, guys. Then we have a fully working iron golem farm. Pretty damn simple. Nothing major. Of course, we're going to go ahead and take a skim of this right here and leave it down in the description. If you guys want to make something similar to this, you can just quickly go ahead and download that in the description. All right. There we go. That's actually pretty damn cool. And we also have this up here. Now, I could think that we could probably like have a few more of these like give me like two seconds and I'll be right back All right guys, I extended this out at just a tiny little bit and the way you can do that is just one two three four And then go to you know one out as you can see it like all of these are done and then you can place it right there But it's just like one block too close to the wall. I don't like that So I'm just gonna go ahead and get rid of it But I just quickly extended out a little bit and we are pretty much done Let me go ahead and get the iron golems from the farm and get Give me two seconds. All right, guys, I got the IDs right here. Let's go ahead and place the first one there. Next one. Oh, God, do we have to, have to stack them up? Anyways, let's go ahead and try to place them as wide as possible. We don't want it to be as close to each other. We don't want to, like, stack them down and stuff like that. We'll try to spread them out as much as possible. That way, there's a bit, like, a smaller chance you will get, like, everything. But, of course, we're going to fill it out. So, it doesn't really matter in this case right here. But that leaves us with a fully working iron golem farm. I'm pretty Pretty sure you're gonna die fall down and have a good time am i right let me gonna see yeah there we go one just died right there and we are pretty much done let me go ahead and just quickly get rid of this right here so you can see uh, what's going on uh, is that a good idea though because people can just end up holding glass right here no it's not a good idea let's block it off we know it's working so now we've got a fully working iron golem farm which is perfect we've got a nice little base we can mine out but we do have to remember to always place it back bringing us to the next 
next thing we gotta do is a creeper farm. Now, this one here should be pretty damn simple. Now, since I do not have enough money to a full hobble floor, I think we're just gonna do fences. In fact, we're not gonna do fences because that is way too risky. We're gonna need to full hobble floor. So if you don't have the money for a full hobble floor, I mean, you're gonna go ahead, go ahead and hit that cane until you have enough. But let me go ahead and quickly make a storage system right here real quick, not talking too much. We're gonna need a storage system going, uh, we need this kind of high up though. We can't have it. No, we can't have it that high up. So something like this right here, that should work. And then what we're gonna do is that we're gonna have hoppers going directly into that and just go something like that all the way over to the other end. And that's probably gonna cost us quite a lot of hoppers, but I think this is the best system we could possibly get. So all I'm gonna do is I need to extend this all the way from these over here to all the way over there, but this way instead. So give me two seconds and I'll finish this off real quick. Alright guys, there we go. We could add a little more right up there. I'm gonna do that in a second, but the hopper floor is done. Coming into the next thing, we want to make it as hard as possible for anyone to destroy your base in any way. So what I think we should do is that we need to bulletproof our hoppers. The same goes with the IG farm. We can do some thingamajiggy over there as well, but the main priority right now is that we just want to make this we want to want to make enchanting tables going as far as the eye can see over all your hoppers now this causes extreme lag but it is way better to save your hoppers to be honest so what is a little lag you're, you're gonna be there for two seconds you just need to go ahead and just quickly sell whatever or storage whatever the creepers have made and that's it that's all you're gonna do so for the next one right here i think we're just gonna go ahead and do this go ahead and do this to your hoppers as well as underneath we're gonna do obby to just make it fully in like protected and since like um me like dexter is dexter probably the chances of getting raided even though i don't have any value is like 100 percent people are definitely gonna split me just because it's my base so doing this is just gonna make it even harder. So give me two seconds to just bulletproof this right here. And I'm gonna go ahead and show you exactly what I'm gonna do underneath the hoppers. Alright guys, there we go. We finished off the enchanting tables. And what I think we should do is make an open and closing mechanism right here. No, actually, we're not gonna do that because you can just creep it down and, and get everything. We don't want to do that. We don't want to do that. But we do need to go down. So let me go ahead and mine right here real quick. Uh, oh, that was probably the wrong area. Oh no, let me go and do that. There we go. Alright, let me go to the other side. Here we go. We know there's nothing here. And just go ahead and block that off again. There we go. Alright, so from underneath, we want to have enchanting tables as well. Because we want to be able to open these and these so we can do it like that that works out perfectly and what we want to do is just go ahead and do this real quick and then we're gonna go ahead and use obsidian to block off the rest that way there's no access to the hoppers itself which means if the, the like if the what's it called the spawners fall into the hoppers then they're just stuck in there they, they can't get out so horizontal i'm pretty sure that's horizontal isn't it yeah it is all right great so let me go ahead and quickly do this actually let me go from the other side that's like a lot easier and this will protect our hoppers a lot by the way and there we go so now that should protect everything we can still open our chest and stuff like that and we should be able to yeah there we go so it's still gonna funnel through and everything so this is perfect guys this is absolutely perfect now the thing about it we could actually make something right here we could actually make it i'm, I'm not really sure if we're gonna have we're probably gonna have a creeper falling right here that wouldn't really be a good idea um let me think about what we're gonna do right here give me two seconds all right guys i figured out what i'm gonna do i'm gonna place one right there and then we're gonna have water and where's the water It'd be right there and then we can have a new trapdoor like that that way you can't creeper egg this trapdoor right here but we can go through it like it was nothing so there we go that's how we do that let's go to the next area which is over here at the iron golems now there's not much we can do to protect here but we can do is horizontal this so that way you're gonna have a hard time actually getting down to the storage area there we go that looks beautiful now to make it even harder and make it like just in general just really really annoying for everybody is to go ahead and fill this area out with obsidian there we go and that one in there as well so that should work out beautifully and go ahead and 
block that off real quick. And we need to go ahead and place these chests back. There we go. Perfect. Place the hoppers back. And just go ahead and quickly mine ourselves out of here. And remember to place these. There we go. Alright, so now we protected our grinders. We protected our hoppers. I mean, we're in a pretty good position right here. In fact, I think we can even place one right there to make it even harder. So that is pretty much how you do that, guys. And that also brings us to the absolute end of this video. Hopefully you guys learned something. Hopefully you guys will be able to use some of these nice little ideas I have and whatever in your base as well. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, make sure you like this video here and comment down below what you think of this little split idea right here. I think it's kind of handy and I'm pretty sure like you guys would like it as well. But leave a comment what you guys think about it. And if you guys have any suggestions that I should show off in these videos, let me know down in the comments as well. Make sure you join my Discord giveaway where I give away Discord Nitro, I give away Paypal, I give away Bycraft from servers. I'm gonna go ahead and leave that link down in the description. But most of all, make sure you subscribe to my channel. My name is Dexter and I'm out.